Well, these are the sort of claims you've probably heard before from many so-called gurus. But for her fast-expanding group of disciples, Mataji Nirmala Devi is different. Tonight, she brings her message to a public meeting in Exeter. Mataji, the world of healing and gurus is full of uh, frauds and charlatans. Do you accept that many people might be sceptical about of your claims? Of course, they should be. They, why they are not, I don't understand, you see. You must use your brains and reach right conclusions. Why are you seeking, what are you seeking and whom are you going to? Those people who charge you money and live like parasites on you cannot be your gurus. You see, they are people without any self-respect. You don't charge any money at all? Not at all. I mean, how can I? Charge money for this is love, love of God. How can I charge money for that? It's claimed that even viewers of an interview such as this, just by looking at your picture on the television screen, can receive some sort of physical manifestation of your power. Now, how does yes, that work? By just if they put their hands towards me like this, even now, they can feel a cool breeze blowing into their hands. So many might feel as they felt it in Hong Kong. But if you are a complicated people, it takes some time. But normally people are simple and they get it. The cool breeze just starts blowing into their hands. And that is the breeze of the Holy Ghost. Just by holding their hands to the just screen like at the moment? Just like this, just like that, yes. Well, your message is self-awareness, self-realism. I mean, what exactly does that mean? Self is the reflection of God Almighty in, our, in the heart. But it resides on top of your head. And what is self-realization? In ordinary words, we can say the real baptism. It's the real baptism. means what happens? That your spirit enters into your awareness, into your conscious mind, into your central nervous system, so that you start feeling the awareness of the spirit which is flowing through you as energy. This is the energy of the all-pervading power of God. But I'm sure many people must feel that they know themselves perfectly well already without any extra power required. This is a self-opinated thing. But there is a way to find out. If you know yourself, then you must know what are the centers catching in you, what are the centers are catching in another person. It is the becoming that is important. It's not a mental projection that I am such and such. Supposing I say I am the governor of some place, do I become? No, I must have the powers. But you can actually look at another person and say what is wrong with that person or feel what is wrong with yes, that person. Yes, I can. I can look at the person and say, but others, those who are Sahajogis, can just feel it on their fingertips. But we talk another language. We don't say you have cancer because that's not good to say. But what we say you are catching on this center or that center. Supposing somebody is very egoistical, then we don't say you are egoistical, we say you are catching on Agya. So he doesn't feel hurt, you know. But having identified the problems, you can also cure them as well? Yes, we, if, if we identify the problems, we also know how to cure them. What happened 20 years ago before gurus even were heard of in the Western world? We seem to survive perfectly well without them. You see, this is the time of resurrection. This is the time of last judgment. It's being pointed out by your great poet, William Blake, who said that a new category of human beings, he called them men of God, will be born on this earth, and they will become prophets, and they will have powers to make others prophets. Of course, there has been prophecy also in India, thousands of years back, that in this work will start in 1970, and that many people will get their realization is already announced. And now we're in that time. Yeah, that the time has come. That's why these people have taken birth. And there are many children who are born realized. And you do not know what they are because they have these vibrations and they are different people. Matashi, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.